it's another good day at Grind Hard Plumbing Co. because we got a new box from Go Power Sports. This is probably a steering wheel. Look at that. She is a beaut. So we'll, uh, we'll take a poll. Should we keep it red or should we take these off and paint them yellow? The important factor is... Oh, you want to be a part of the video too, Bjorn. You ready? Most of this box is taken up with wheels for the off-road tires. Nice. Those things are incredibly lightweight. They weigh like nothing. Hollow inch and a quarter axle for the jack shaft. Because, first of all, we can save weight by going hollow, but more importantly, this piece of inch and a quarter we had doesn't, it only has this one little section of keyway which isn't in the right spot. We're going to uh, weigh these axles and see exactly how much weight we're saving. All right, so the new axle cut to length weighs four pounds, five pounds. So it weighs give or take twice as much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, twice as much. Yeah. Yep. That's five pounds we saved just on the axle. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Important yeah. Things. So we're uh, going for full overkill here. <laughs> but um, let's turn it into a nice trellis frame. Like, this thing almost looks cooler without the body on it. I added in these ones to kind of partly help stiffen these bearing housings, um, and then also stiffen the frame, and then I added this one back in to tie all together, support this section vertically, and um, also just make it look cool. sweet new shipment of stuff from Rogue Fab. And uh, one of the most exciting things is a cart for the bender so that we don't have it on that crappy wooden table. <laughs> it can roll it around and have storage for our dies and all of that. The uh, Rogue Fab bender cart all welded up and put together. We'll paint it later, but um, it's got this sweet die rack to hold all the dies. And we also got a couple different uh, radius dies. So this is the largest radius die for inch and a half. Or so a half that'll inch. let us bend um, thinner wall tubing. Right, thinner wall tubing without crinkling, and it'll just make let us bend wider arcs when we don't need a super tight bend. You know, kind of test out our new larger radius die for the one inch and uh, bend up a little piece to go right here. It needs to clear the oil lines on this side and the water pump on the other side, so it needs a slight bend in it. Yeah, that makes a nice bend. The wider radius crushes the pipe a lot less. It, it doesn't I mean, the other one does fine, but when you're doing a tight bend, it kind of deforms a little this way. Time to make a uh, mount plate for this sexy steering wheel. So uh, it's got this six bolt mounting flange, which isn't the easiest, 
but it looks cool. Uh, got a piece of steel here. I'm just gonna drill and tap the holes for this size of bolt, so I don't even need nuts. I'm using a relatively thick piece. tapped. Now it's time to cut it out with the piranha and I'm going to punch a hole in the middle that's one inch so it can slip over the top of the steering column which will just help make it easier to locate and weight reduction. Got the mount plate all built. So I cut the stem off at just a slight tilt back just so the steering wheel is not quite as vertical. I'll tack it on there and see what it feels like but it shouldn't make too much weirdness. It'll just tilt to one side or the other a little bit but I think it'll be worth it to have it be a little bit more angled back. How does it feel? It feels good. Yeah, that, that tiny bit of tilt angle, it's, it's not even noticeable. Nice. This thing's gonna be so much fun to drive. <laughs> the design flaw police have found a problem. So I just mirrored the other side when I built this. Forgot about engine asymmetry. So the travel on this side is about that much before it hits the engine case. So time to redo that part of the arm. <laughs> well, it's always something. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. I had to do is take cut this cut it apart and replace this arm with one with a slight bend which I happen to have a piece in the scrap pile and then this one I just shortened a little bit to fit it differently and now we have clearance plenty of clearance actually at full bottom do we have almost as much clearance as we had at full droop before so now it's time to cut it off the bench and throw some tires on it and roll it around oh yeah let her free. Let her free. Well, I think it's time to put this bad boy in the dirt. It is. Got all the shocks aired up a bit so it's uh, up off the ground at a meet reasonable ride height and uh, time to go s set outside and roll it around see how it feels <laughs> there she is in all her glory a rolling chassis a beautiful rolling tube chassis psycho cart thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's going to be a lot of comments about this, but this is the most real life Mario Kart looking thing we've ever made. <laughs> yeah. I think because like it looks silly with these tires, they're so tiny without having the body on there for scale mm -hmm. and with the suspension raised up, it, it looks really funny and which is kind of very Mario Kart and like how big the steering wheel is and how tall it, the steering wheel is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, looking good. So good. So the steering's easy? Yeah, like even, I mean, the whole thing's gonna get heavier, but the front is, you know, relatively speaking, as heavy as it's going to get. And the steering's real nice. Oh yeah. And just the seating position is it's cozy. And the suspension is quite plush. And infinitely adjustable. Oh yeah. Man, I just have a feeling it's gonna be the easiest to drive. The weight distribution's awesome. There's so much weight over the front end. Yeah. Wow, it looks cool. I love right now the little red accents on the steering wheel. 
how they act with little red accents on the shock. <laughs> it uh, turns nice and sharp. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit flex down here, but we can fix that. So next week we'll be doing some support. We'll be putting on the off-road tires. And getting it closer to being able to start. Um, I mean, potentially we might be able to start it. Thank you.